So a little while ago, I had this realization that building a creative career is a lot like living on or taking care of an iceberg. The iceberg itself is all the work that you put your heart and soul into, that you commit time to working on. But just like the iceberg, most of that work doesn't see the light of day. A far larger portion of what you do, of what you work on, is going to be below the waves, out of view for most people. It's only a tiny little portion of the work that you've done that's actually going to be poking out above the water. That's going to be something that people can read or see or listen to or otherwise engage with depending on what kind of art you're making. That's a very tough thing to deal with, at least it can be a tough thing to deal with, and it has been a tough thing for me to deal with. Because you can spend all this time working, and I've spent a lot of time trying to work on my creative projects, and still feel like nobody's getting to really read or see the work that you're doing. That's part of what I really like about making YouTube videos, is that when I'm making a video, I know that pretty soon people are going to be able to actually see it. It's really rewarding in that way. But at the same time, I don't only want to be making YouTube videos. I have other projects that I really care about too. Obviously, I make D&D content that I release on the DMs Guild, but I have other projects beyond that that I also have been working on for a long time that have yet to really see the light of day. I have comic book projects that I've been trying to take to the finish line. I have novellas and short stories and other things that I'd like to create. And while it's not necessarily as immediately gratifying to work on those because the road to getting them to release is often a lot longer, it is really important to me to work on those because all of the projects that I commit to are things that I really care about, that are really meaningful to me. But I know that if I just keep working, what I'll probably end up doing is what's been happening for a long time, I'm gonna keep adding weight to the bottom of the iceberg. And that's only gonna drag me down. It's a really discouraging feeling to have invested so much time into a craft, into an art, and to not really be able to connect with people through it. Over the past few years, confronting the reality that despite all the time I've put in, I have little to show for it in terms of what's outward facing has made me pretty bitter and pretty frustrated at times. And that's really not an emotional state that I try to linger in. So this year, I'm really trying to change that so that I'm not disappearing off of YouTube for a super long time like I have been. Uh, and so that when I do have something to say about the work that I'm doing or have done, you can actually read that work. You can actually see that work. I've got new D&D projects that I plan on releasing. I don't know how much D&D content I'll be making on the channel, but obviously I'll be making some along the way and I have some other role playing projects that I'll be really excited to share as well. I'm planning on trying to start broadcasting on Twitch at least once or twice a week. Uh, that's something I've never done before on my own and so that'll be really exciting to get into. I'll be sharing more information about that uh, along the way. I also have other short creative pieces that I want to share. I have books that I want to work on, I have comics that I want to make, I have other projects in film and TV that I'm really interested in and passionate about, but those will take a long time. So. Until I get there, I'm also going to be releasing short stories and little snippets of whatever else I can put together, whatever else I think is exciting or interesting to release with you, and I'll be talking about those projects here. I know it's not the case for everybody, but a big part of the reason why I write is because that's a way that I like to communicate. And I want people to read the things that I write. I want people to hopefully relate to what I put out, uh, and we can all show each other that we're not as alone out here as it often seems. I'm trying to find a balance between the long-term big projects that I really want to finish, that I want to complete, that I want to realize, and the more short-term stuff that's going to keep me motivated, keep me engaged, and keep me here present talking to you, sharing my process along the way, because that's always been the idea with this channel, is to work on creative projects and share my process as I work on them and as my career grows and changes and evolves. If you like stories, if you like science fiction, if you like fantasy, like I do, I'm sure there'll be plenty of things for you to enjoy here. So anyways, that's what I wanted to talk about this video. I wanted to talk a little bit about my realization around the creative iceberg and the fact that I'm going to be working on so many new projects. If you're interested in helping me realize some of these projects. I did set up a Ko-fi 
Uh, the link is in the description where you can go and provide a tip if you have the money to spare to help me get all the pieces together that I'll need in order to do the things that I am trying to do this year. And if you can't afford to support me, I appreciate you watching this video regardless. And I'm still going to be doing everything I can to finally share some of the stories that I've been meaning to. Anyways, beware of the creative iceberg in your own lives. And let's hope 2021 is a great year for all of us. Until next time.